Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ARQL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Done this analysis several times in the past. It's been a few days since the last time I did it, but the last time I did do it is uh, you know where this red line here was coming into play and was actually a level of resistance, but the power of charts talked about resistance and you can see today in the morning, uh, struggle to break above it and then when it did finally break above it you know the rest was history a very nice move followed so that leads us into our first update that needs to be done and that update is just based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above they tend to act as and you want to see them act as support so five dollars and 25 cents newest area of support now, the other area of support that was formed after today is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price can stay up above 565. Now, don't get me wrong, though. If the price falls below 565, by no means am I saying everything is totally ruined or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, if the price can somehow manage to stay up above that level, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from a bigger picture point of view, so this definitely pertains to those of you with a broader time horizon, but that's where the purple line there comes into play the 50 period simple moving average keyword being moving so as time goes by that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher so a very basic yet extremely effective way to judge the health of the overall move as long as the price stays above that purple line as the line itself moves higher and higher the bulls are in full health the bulls are in full control no questions asked again yeah staying above 565 would be insanely strong but from the grand scheme of it all as long as the price stays above that purple line the bulls are in 100 percent control of the chart what about levels of resistance? As it stands right now, public enemy number one, right up here at the $6 mark. So $6 will be that key battleground going into tomorrow. All in all though, just keep on building higher bases, keep on going through health consolidations and the overall chart like it's been doing will continue to take care of itself. I think the first time I started doing these videos was I don't want to say down around 250 and now it's up to 575. So yeah, just keep on building higher bases and let the chart do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.